David's mysterious. There's a mysterious thing about him, and it's like, you know, it's something that comes with genius. You know, whether it's James Dean, or whether it's Bob Dylan, or whether it's David Lynch, there's something that's a little off, and they're really right on. He just is constantly coming up with something that's never been seen before, because that's what inspires him. I, w I would describe David, first of all, by saying, what a nice man. Thanks a lot, Marco. Yet, um, so many of his films start out that way, don't they? There's a kind of niceness the way that they start out, and all of a sudden they just go, you know, go, go insane. The show came about after a meeting between Hervé Chandes, the director of the Cartier Foundation, and David Lynch. They were introduced by a common friend named Melita Toscan du Plantier. David kind of started uncovering all of these works uh, to Hervé, and it was a real discovery. There are drawings, photographs, paintings, uh, sculptures. I mean, there's an enormous amount because David keeps absolutely everything. So Hervé, as soon as he saw kind of what was, what was there and what had never been seen before, he, he just thought that we had to do a show. You know, his visual art is very little seen in America. He hasn't had a gallery show in Los Angeles in probably 15, maybe 20 years. And I think it's because there's real snobbery in the art world. They feel like anybody who's active in film or music is just an amateur artist and it's really a bias. I had some shows, but uh, pretty much the painting was kind of a private thing. This big show uh, was a surprise, but a beautiful surprise. 